I'm Deacon Frederick Bartels. Today is day 20 in our Living Lent series. The setting for today's gospel from Luke chapter 4, verses 24 through 30, is Jesus' hometown of Nazareth. Jesus is in the synagogue speaking to the people he grew up with. Perhaps sensing their skepticism about him and his mission, he tells them that no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Beginning with verse 27, Jesus says, There were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet. Yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. The implication is that the people of Israel would not listen to the prophets. Consequently, God's blessings were given to the Gentiles. Luke then tells us how the people reacted. When the people in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The people were filled with fury because Jesus is comparing them to other Jews who refused to listen to the prophets. Jesus, the Son of God and the greatest prophet, is standing in their midst, yet they refuse to listen to him as well. Because they rejected Jesus, they are rejecting the Father's offer of salvation. This should challenge each of us to ask, how willing am I to listen to Jesus? Do I accept him as my sovereign Lord and Savior? Is he the Lord of my life? Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, I desire to love you with all my heart. I desire to make you the center of my life and accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Grant me the grace to fall truly in love with you as my God, as my Savior and Redeemer. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When we pray to Christ, we communicate to Him. When we read the Gospels, Jesus speaks to us. Today, spend some time meditating on the Gospel reading from the Holy Mass or perhaps some other portion of the Gospels. Then, share what you've learned with someone else. May Christ bless you and your family this Lenten season.